Last winter, we took a little road trip in our home region of the Pacific Northwest. It's always a good reminder to get back to the roots of why we started in this industry in the first place. You can endlessly raise the standards for customizing equipment, but a ski is still just a ski if it doesn't enhance the actual experience. We met up with several friends along the way, not only to catch up and talk about the condition of snow sports, but also because we recognize the need to slow things down and experience the magic that winter has to offer. We started out by chasing a storm to Mount Baker in Washington. When I grew up skiing, my parents both worked at the mountain and there just wasn't that many people skiing. And as the sport has progressed, a lot more people have learned to enjoy it. And similarly to our development as humans with our technology, we basically built these resorts and it's allowed a lot of people to learn how to technically ski. But it seems like there's some kind of frustration and almost a like a, a feeling of scarcity that we're all competing for this finite resource of powder turns. We're all trying to consume this snow first. As I've gotten older, I've just become a little bit more sensitive to the feeling that skiing at the resort and doing the rat race for the powder turns has given me. You know, it seems like Monday through Friday, we kind of go through the rat race trying to trying to get our things and then Saturday comes along and we kind of do the rat race. We get in traffic and we, we go up and we get in line and, and we like kind of fight and we vie for this, this finite thing. Part of the rat race. Sometimes it feels to me like I'm missing out on something or you know, I get FOMO if I don't do it, if all these weird things. So in the past couple of years, I've just moved more and more into the backcountry and kind of earning my own turns and it's a really nice transition. It feels like I'm getting more connected just back to my body as I like move and I have more fitness and I feel myself a bit more and more connected to the landscape because I have to manage my own avalanche and my own risk assessment of the terrain and as well as just more in tune with nature at large. Really, I'm like trying to ski a certain kind of conditions and Skiing is amazing. I'm so grateful to have grown up skiing on the ski resort. It made me the skier that I am. But now I really so enjoy the times I get to go out in the backcountry and enjoy close time with friends where we really rely on each other to make good decisions and to manage our risk. And also just to experience a really serene and untouched landscape. It's so beautiful. As most of us have experienced, Mother Nature doesn't frequently align with plans. So we just plan to go with the flow. We decided to head south to the Mount Hood Wilderness. When you head into the back country, you're bound to find a mixed bag of conditions. But conditions don't need to be pristine to have a stellar time with friends. So when I was growing up, there was always like a really big beef going on between skiers and snowboarders. And uh, I'm really, Really actually stoked that that's kind of gone away now. We can just get along and we're both just enjoying the mountains and enjoying the snow and it's not actually really different at all. 
And uh, yeah, a lot of my friends ski and a lot of my friends snowboard and I go ride with, with both all the time. So I'm just stoked that we can all be out here. So yeah, I've always had a pretty good time riding uh, with friends in the mountains, but uh, as I've gotten older and just more experienced, I've grown to kind of ride with like a tight-knit group of people that I can really trust when we're going into different kinds of terrain. It's always way more fun, but it's also just way safer when you have people that can like watch your back as well. Um, and yeah, we ride with skiers and snowboarders all the time. It doesn't matter what you're on. It's just if you're fun and you know what you're doing and you can be safe and help out in a bad situation, that's, that's all that really matters. As much fun as it is to be out of bounds, there are still many reasons to return to the resorts. Like bringing in the next generation. Hey, how's it going? It's Josh here. And I'm Rhonda and we're the Larkins. So yeah, so we met about 10 years ago and now we are married and have a little one. And he is a year and a half and loves to ski. Um, so it's been really fun to bring him up and um, I'm grateful that Josh appreciates the snow as much as I do because we take turns coming up and skiing and we take turns with Osiris so it's really awesome to be able to share that love for the mountain with our little one and and um, he's been skiing probably six seven times now and he's getting pretty good it's uh it's really fun having him out there being able to teach him um, step by step as we go and even to see that progression. And yeah, the progression. You know, the progression over seven times. It's like the first time, a couple times we took him out. He like really didn't want to stand on his own. And he kept squatting down. Kind of and squatting and skiing <laughs> like this, you know. And, and then um, we got him a harness. And so like the harness allowed us to be able to get him to stand up more and, and be on his legs more. And now we don't even need the harness. He kind of just. Now he grabs the pole and we just ski yeah. beside of him. And he can, yeah, take three, four laps, five laps a day. No, that's pretty good. Yeah, and he stands up on his own and doesn't cross the skis, so he's, he's doing really well for one a year, you know, one and a half years, so pretty awesome. Yeah, it turned out to be a nice day. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, it's pretty cool that we get to come up and enjoy the mountain together as a family. Um, we both did as kids. Yeah, it's just nice to be able to share that and have something to go do with the family every weekend. And I, I think I just really appreciate that Osiris loves the outdoors. Um, whether it's skiing or biking or hiking or jumping in puddles outside, like he just really likes being outside. High five? Yeah, yeah, good job. Snowboarding for me has uh, always been a way for me to just kind of be really creative and be able to truly like be in the moment without having to think about anything else. I didn't really have that much of a direction when I was younger. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And snowboarding was like the one thing that I knew I really, really liked and I wanted to share with other people. It gives you like this freedom to kind of play and do whatever you want. It's really cool as of lately just to see like how women have been just like stepping it up and it's inspiring. Oh! And now the next evolution is kind of getting 
back in touch with nature and getting back in touch with our bodies and getting back in touch with the moment and the, you know, the landscape. Hi. I became a snowboard instructor when I was like 21 years old and that's a way I can like share my passion with other people and just like spread it to a younger generation of kids uh, or adults because you can be old and, <laughs> and learn how to snowboard too. But uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep snowboarding for until I'm as old as I possibly can.